past, they greeted each other with a warm embrace and equally warm words. I'm living through difficult times, said Bawensa, so the more thanks to you for visiting Lech here. The confidence he normally exudes on stage had deserted Elton John for this appearance in the modest flat of Gdansk's very own superstar. For me, it's a great honor to meet someone who's won a Nobel Prize. Yes, lovely. This is the city of the professional sport. And I'm very, very nervous. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> they exchanged pleasantries for more than an hour. It was all innocent enough, although the meeting will doubtless irritate the Polish authorities. It said British diplomats aren't best pleased either, one dismissing the visit as a naive gesture. Elton John was given a carving of the Solidarity Monument in Gdansk, Wałęsa receiving in return a ticket for the rock star's concert. It took Wałęsa back to the scene of his former glories, the hall where the Solidarity Congress was held. He got a hero's welcome, applause, autograph hunters, and the singing of Stolat, May You Live a Hundred Years. Elton John didn't sing Stolat, but he did flash a Solidarity victory salute as he bounded into the limelight. Spencer rocked happily along, even though someone else was now the star of the stage he once commanded. He gave in the Polish city of Gdansk, the solidarity leader Lech Wałęsa. 5,000 people, young and old, attended the concert. Elton John said he was nervous and honored to meet the Lenser, a Nobel Prize winner. Squads of riot police were around the sports hall, but made no attempt to prevent the Lenser going in. Inside, the Solidarity leader was mobbed by rock fans who were also fans of his, demanding autographs. The Lenser, who watched from the front row, said visits like this showed he'd not been forgotten. Two and a half years ago, he was the sole star attraction on the same stage during the Solidarity Congress.